Hello guys, how are you? I am Noor and today we will explain the program.cs class inside the spmc.net 6 application. If you are familiar with the previous versions of .net uh, core like the sp.net core 3.1 then there was a uh, startup.cs class uh, instead of program.cs but in the latest version of .net 6 there is program.cs class no startup.cs class okay so what is the purpose of this class basically program.cs uh, class working like an entry point uh, in your application when you first run your application here you have to register all the middleware all the static files middleware and basically it establish an entry point for your application and it uh, set up the environment for your whole sp.net core 6 application so let's we create a project and see uh, what is the structure basically of the program.cs file and how it works i will go to the visual studio right click run as administrator now i will create a project click on the create a new project template and here search for asp mbc uh, select this template sp.net core web app model view controller click on next and here i have to give name to my application so asp mbc uh, and uh, program class right and my project will be saved inside this directory you can use accordingly to your needs click on next and here you have to select the framework i will select the dotnet 6 the latest version i will not use any kind of authentication that is why i will keep the non option from the drop down and i will uncheck at this time the https option click on create okay so the project created successfully now let's me first run the application okay guys so the project loaded successfully here i will go to the home page and it is the privacy page of our application now let's me close the browser the uh, application will stop automatically and i am going to the program.cs file which is located at the root level of the project it is not inside any folder but it is in the root level click on this class and here you can see the structure of the program.cs file the first thing that you observe here that the program.cs file is not looking like other uh, format of classes inside C sharp or ASPMVC. It is like uh, everything is open. Uh, in normal uh, C sharp classes, we have the public class and uh, the the class the name of the class and then the curly braces. Inside the curly braces, we use these kind of stops. But it is open. Um, it is the latest improvement from the Microsoft. If I just show you a normal uh, class of C sharp mm. you can see that we have the key uh, the access modifier the class keyword and then the class name and inside the curly braces we have the properties and other things of the class but in the program.cs class there is uh, no I mean class keyword the access modifier and other kind of things the curly braces everything is open so it is the first difference right so here you can see that we are registering different kind of middlewares and services inside the program.cs file we are registering the statics file uh, middleware uh, by the statics file i mean uh, the css file the javascript file the images file if i just comment this line then no image 
new CSS file will be work inside the application. Here I am uh, registering the routing. It is basically for the authorization. And here we can add different kind of routes. No, initially when you run your application, these line of code will be executed one by one and all the things will be uh, registered and after that the application will run. Once the application started successfully, then your application will use all these kind of things accordingly. Uh, here after this line, if I am using the dependency injection classes, then I will register here the interfaces and classes by the singleton option, by the transcript option, or by the scoped option. So let me first here uh, breakpoint, and I will also put a breakpoint inside the home controller home page. It is the home page of our application. Uh, let me put a debugger. I will run the application and you will see that the control will first come inside these line all after ex executing of all these line of codes then the control will come inside this class uh, let me run the application okay you can see that the uh, the breakpoint is heated i will go next step or step or uh, and here from this line the application will run continue you can see that after executing all the code uh, of the program.cs file uh, then the control comes inside the home page of, of the uh, of our application now i will continue just remove the breakpoint because there is no further requirement can see that our home page is displayed in the browser go to the privacy page it is the privacy page of, of our application now let me just comment uh, this line of code and you will see that the HTML page looks will be different because no CSS file will work then okay uh, so let me comment this line of code and I will stop the application uh, just close this right and now I will run the application again you will see the difference that no CSS is working remove the break uh, sorry I will continue as you can see that no CSS file loaded because I have commented this line I, uh, I don't want to use any kind of static file inside my application that is why no CSS is working. I will go um, move or uh, redirect it to the privacy page, to the home page, but the page look is no different as compared to the previous one. Uh, let's me uncomment this line of code again and uh, I will stop the application, continue. Uh, the breakpoint is hit it, I will continue. You can see that everything is uh, fine no? because all the CSS and static files are no loaded. Uh, Let me put control Z uh, just any dummy URL that not exist in our application. Okay, the page is not loaded. I think we did not handle the error handling for our application at global level. But you see here that we can use uh, the program.cs file for uh, as a startup for our application, as an entry point for application, for registering different kind of middlewares, for registering different kind of services. At later stages, um, when I reach at the point uh, how we can read or do CRUD operation, then I will show you how we can register the services below this line. But uh, we will move step by step, and uh, at this time, uh, I will say goodbye because uh, our main purpose of this video was to introduce you about the program.cs class. Thank you. Keep watching the videos. Thank you.